What are you doing here? I live here. What are the two of you celebrating? The engagement party we're throwing for Louise and Sheridan this evening. Louise and Sheridan are engaged? Oh, wonderful! I'm going to call them and congratulate... Wait. Why are you throwing them an engagement party? Father thought it would be an appropriate gesture. Oh, no, no, no. Alistair can't be happy that Sheridan is engaged to Louise. As far as your daddy dearest is concerned, Louise is nothing but a lowly, nosy cop. So what's the plan, Julian? What's in store for Louise and Sheridan at this engagement party? I repeat, what awful thing do you have planned for Louise and Sheridan at this engagement party? Come in. Oh. Mama. Lord, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, we, we got something to tell you. Well, from those smiles and all these beautiful decorations, it must be good news, huh? I asked Sheridan to marry me, and she said yes. We're engaged. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but Julian and Alistair and Rebecca are going to throw us an engagement party to welcome Louise into the family. Come on, Mama, say something. Louise, please, do not do this. Okay. 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 What happened? We're not sure. Kate came in from the storeroom and passed out. Simone, do you know what happened? No, Mom. I, I couldn't tell you why Kate fainted. Charity and I just told Chief and Mrs. Bennett that we wanted to get married. And then Kay came in and, you know, Charity told Kay and Kay passed out. Maybe Kay was just overwhelmed with happiness for us. Yeah, right. <laughs> But wherever the divining rod is headed, I'm hoping that's where we'll find the evil that will destroy Charity and Miguel. Because if those kids get married and make love and Charity comes into her full powers, we will be extinguished! Ah! I would hold the hand of the one who could leave the places And kiss the lips of the one who could sing so sweet Whatever do you mean? What could we possibly do to share at a fete in her and Louise's honor? Yes, I mean, can't the Cranes throw a party for a family member? I mean, Sheridan is Alistair's daughter and Julian's sister. Oh, I am very well aware of Sheridan's lineage, Rebecca. I am also well aware of her abiding need for her father's love, and somehow I can't help but think that Julian and Alistair are taking advantage of it. Need I remind you that at one time you were willing to help Father and me tear apart Louise and Sheridan in exchange for leaving Teresa and Ethan alone? Yes, I know, and I am ashamed of myself, but I was only trying to protect my son. Yes, well, as it turns out, you couldn't protect him. The whole world found out he wasn't a crane because of your lies. Nevertheless, <clears throat> Father and I kept our word. We did nothing to try to tear apart. Ethan and Teresa. That was all my doing, and I'm not finished yet. Yes, uh, Alistair and Julian were devastated when the family lost Ethan. They're determined not to lose Sheridan, too. So you see, Father and I are not up to anything. This party is simply to show Sheridan our love and support. Mrs. Crane, you have a call. Thank you. I'll take it in the foyer. Hmm. Oh, 
Or did you stay married to her for all these years? By ignoring her as much as possible. <clears throat> Unlike you, my pet. You see, I couldn't involve Ivy in my schemes as I can you. <laughs> I just want to prove to you that I will be everything you have ever wanted in a wife. And more. Yes, you really know how to crack the whip, Becky. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm ever so grateful that you finally convinced Louise and Sheridan to come to this engagement party. I was less than happy with Father's alternate plan. I really don't want to kill my own sister. Hmm. And I uh, certainly don't want to help you. <laughs> hmm. Little does Ivy know that by going to this so-called engagement party, Louise and Sheridan save their necks. Hmm. Of course, Sheridan's life will be ruined, but well, at least she'll still be alive. True. I really couldn't abide going to a funeral again so soon after the last one. Well, what do you mean, no, don't do this? Are you talking about us getting engaged, or are you talking about us going to the party that Alistair and Julian are going to throw for us? Oh, no. I am happy that you're engaged. Very happy. But this party. It concerns me. Alistair and Julian cannot be happy that you plan to marry, nor can they be sincere about this party. I I'm just afraid that if you go to it, the cranes will destroy you. Mama, I was concerned too. But Sheridan was so touched by her family wanting to do this, uh, well, I couldn't say no. Alistair even sent Julie and Rebecca here to the cottage to invite us themselves. Oh. Look, I know you're worried about me getting hurt, just like Luis is. But I really think everything's going to be all right. Rebecca said that Julian and Alistair are sincere about this. That after losing Ethan, they wanted to reach out to me, keep me close to the family. I understand what you're saying. And I can see why you want to go to the party. I'm glad. Well, I'm going to put this away. Luis, would you please pour Pilar some champagne? Yeah. Mijo, are you crazy? Why on earth would you want to go to a party thrown by Alistair and Julian? Two men who hate you with every fiber of their being. Okay. Honey, you all right? Yeah. I'm fine. Everybody stay back and just give Carrie some air. Charity and Miguel want to get married. Yeah, well, it shocked us, too. They're both so young. How are you going to deal with this? We're not sure. You guys have any ideas? <coughs> and Grace and Sam don't seem so thrilled about the idea of our getting married. Don't worry. I mean, they all know how much we love each other. We just have to prove to them that we're ready for this kind of commitment. Simone, this changes everything. You mean you're finally going to give up on getting Miguel? No. I mean, I'm going to have to get pregnant by him as soon as possible. There's no way I'm going to let him marry Charity. No way. Where are the men from there? Uh, I'm not sure, Timmy. It's been so long since I was airborne that I don't recognize a thing. Oh, no. Oh, no, it can't be. What is it, Abby? Oh. Oh, if the key to destroying Charity and Miguel is there in that house, we're in for some hellacious times, Dollface. All of Harmony's gonna be rocked to his very core. Uh, oh, the key to keeping Charity and Miguel apart can't be in that house. To me, it simply can't be. I never want to go in that house again. Why not? Oh, oh I haven't got time to explain now. Why are the Cranes suddenly being so nice? So supportive of Sheridan? They cannot be happy that she's engaged to you. I know. And I understand your concern. I had misgivings about the party, too. But Sheridan wanted to go so badly, I couldn't refuse her. I know that having her father throw her this party means the world to Sheridan. She craves his love and approval since he didn't give it to her as a child. And Alistair knows this, and that's why he's playing on her neediness. 
Yeah, but there's nothing Alistair or Julian can do to tear us apart. Especially at a party, there'll be lots of people around. Oh, do not kid yourself, Mijo. Alistair Crane can do anything he wants, and if he wants to tear you and Sheridan apart, oh. he can and he will. Now, I know that you love Sheridan, and that Teresa loves Ethan, but I cannot believe my luck. What are you talking about? The one thing that I feared the most was that my children would somehow get mixed up with the Cranes, and now it has come to pass. Thank heaven that Miguel is in love with Charity. I cannot imagine that he will ever cause me such worry. Oh. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine, Dad. Thanks. Good. Now that Kay's all right, we can deal with your little announcement. So you say you've decided to get married? As soon as possible. We were thinking maybe a double ceremony with Ethan and Teresa. And if Luis and Sheridan decide to get married, we can make it a triple wedding. No, you can't get married. Kay, we thought you'd be happy for us. Well, I am, but Charity, we're not even finished with high school yet. How can you guys be thinking about getting married? Yeah, Kay's right. I mean, where are you going to live? And how would you support yourself? We've got all that covered. You know, Charity and I both have full scholarships to college next year. So we can live in the married dorms while we're at school, and over the summer we can work to pay for an apartment. Right, and after we graduate, we'll have jobs. Why don't you just wait till you graduate to get married? I mean, there's no need to rush anything. Eve's right. You guys are so young. I think you're making a mistake. We aren't making a mistake, Coach Russell. I, we love each other. We're soulmates. Yeah, well, I know that you think that you are now. But when you're young, your judgment is, is, is not what it should be. And you think that you know the person and that's the one you want to be with, but sometimes it doesn't turn out that way. I've never met anyone like you. You can fight me, but I know you want me as much as I want you, don't you, Eve? Don't you? Thickest thieves, I see. Get off your high horse. Nothing's going to happen to Louise and Sheridan at their engagement party. What about before the party or after? Pity her imagination wasn't this active in bed. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you inviting to the party, Julian? Oh, the whole town can come if they wish. <laughs> the more the merrier. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait a minute. <clears throat> the two of you snobs are willing to mingle with the local folk? Oh, my, 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 yes. Something is up indeed. Oh, Ivy. Do you hear that? You hear what? It sounds like people screaming in terror. A, a woman and a, a little boy. Oh, well, now I hear them. Sounds like they're getting closer. Well, yeah, it sounds like they're coming straight this way. Oh, oh. I hope you don't mind me dropping by unannounced. <laughs> <laughs> Por favor, Luis, do not go to this party. You will be courting disaster. No, look. Sheridan and I, we love each other, right? Now, Cranes, they can't take that away from us. Well, you were once against Teresa marrying Ethan because he was a crane. You thought that Ethan's family would hurt Teresa, so why do you think they wouldn't hurt you and Sheridan? It's different. How, Luis? Because you're a man? Huh? Yeah. So was your father, mijo. My Martin. And you think they're responsible for his disappearance. Laura, I'm sorry. I couldn't help but hear how concerned you are. You know Luis is only going to the party for my sake. Oh, it's true. I do fear for my son. But I'm afraid for you too, Sheridan. Ever since Ivy married Julian, I have worked in the Crane Mansion. For several years, I even lived in this cottage with my family before we were thrown out like trash. 
Now the cranes can be as cruel as they can be kind. I can understand you being concerned. Maybe I should be too. I mean, if the people I trust are in such a state over this, then maybe I should rethink going to the party. What are you planning to do? I'm gonna go up to the main house and talk to Julian and Rebecca again, just to see what's really going on. I think that's a good idea. Why don't we all go up to the mansion? And Sheridan, just promise me that if, if you sense that your brother and Mrs. Hotchkiss are insincere, please just refuse to attend. I promise. Gracias, Javier. Are, are you all right? Oh, yes. Aside from being a bit embarrassed, dear, I'm fine. Oh, you're, you're Tabitha Lennox, right? Yes, how kind of you to remember. My God, it's that doll. What about it? I've talked to it twice. Once on the God-forsaken prom boat and again when I was trapped in the mine shaft. Really? Yes, really. Something strange about that old woman and her freaky doll. Even Father warned me to stay away from her. Uh, but Pookie, I think you need a drink. A big, stiff drink. So, I know what I saw. That doll is alive. I, it, it can come to life. I've talked to it. Are you sure you're all right? Oh, yes, yes, I'm fine. Uh, but um, uh, uh, a glass of water would be nice. I think I have something, dust or something caught in my throat. Yeah, oh, of course, of course. I'll, I'll go get you some. Thank you. Are you all right, lad? Jimmy, fine. But what now? Well, I'm not really sure. But I do know that the divining rod brought us here because there's something hidden in this house, a key that will help us keep Charity and Miguel apart. All we have to do is find it. So, just another carefree day for Timmy and Tabby. I'll just say for sarcasm, Ivy's going to be back with my water in a minute. Tabby needs more than water to calm her nerves. <laughs> Come to think of it, so does Timmy. Timmy's going to go find a place I can make some more Timmy's. All right. Just be careful and, and keep a lookout for anything that will help our cause with Charity and Miguel, okay? Uh, here you go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, um, Ms. Lennox. I... Tabitha, please call me Tabitha. Tabitha, what made you decide to drop in? Oh, this. My divining rod. Eve, are you all right? I'm sorry. It's just, you know, I, I see so many young people at the hospital who've made bad decisions, and I don't want Charity and Miguel to become part of the ranks. No, we won't let that happen. Celebrating our love by getting married is not a bad decision. Please, just give us your blessing. I'm sorry, we can't. We just don't think it's a good idea. But you and Mrs. Bennett see how much we love each other. Yeah, well, we do. It's just that... Well, love can change. Nothing is going to change between me and Charity. Look, let's try to find some middle ground here. Charity, I don't know if you've ever heard me say this to Kay and Jessica, but it's always been graces in my policy that as long as the kids live under our roof, they must abide by our rules. But when they turn 18, and if they can support themselves, they can move out of the house and do whatever they want. So you're saying that when Charity turns 18, we can get married? Well, what I'm saying is when you both turn 18, and if you both can support yourselves, well, you can do whatever you want. But we will be there as your family to give you all the support and love that you need. But, and it's still a big but, Grace and I still don't think that you should get married so young. We understand. I mean, but we're going to prove to you all that you're wrong. I mean, Charity and I are in love, and we're always going to be together. Not only are they not always going to be together, that's one wedding that's never going to happen. I'm going to do whatever it takes to make sure of that. Whatever it takes. 
you, when you were talking to the kids about young love, you were thinking about Julian, weren't you? You know, it's not that I think that Charity and Miguel have too much to worry about, but whenever I see two people who are getting so serious, so young, I can't help but think about my mistake with Julian. I mean, we didn't get married, although I would have if he had asked me, but I did get pregnant. And even though our baby died, I can't forget that he was born. You know, Eva, I just hate to see you carry this burden all by yourself. Now, are you sure you can't talk to TC about it? Oh, now, Grace, we've been over this already. You know that TC hates Julian with a passion. If he were to find out that I had had an affair with Julian before we met, he'd never forgive me. I'd lose my husband and my family. I'm sorry, you said you're, you're divining, Rod? Oh, yes, well, uh, being a senior citizen, I live on a fixed income, and sometimes uh, money gets tight. So my divining rod has often led me to hidden treasures. <laughs> and this time it's zeroed in on you good people. <laughs> I assure you there are no hidden treasures here. It's all out in the open. <laughs> a subtlety lost on my rod, I'm afraid. Where is it? What? Where's that little doll of yours? Do you remember being here? He came to get the pouch of curses from the death tower that sold the screams. To turn her from a fish back into a witch. As Timmy remembers, the library had a very well-stocked bar that had everything to make martinis. the gnome. Lying in wait, no doubt. <laughs> what? Julian, what is wrong with you? What? I, I thought I was the only living doll in your life. <laughs> this is no time for jokes. I'm telling you the doll is alive. Since he isn't here, it must mean he's on the loose in the house. Julian, wait! He's just a doll. Maybe the baby's wrong. Oh. So, Tabitha, um, could, could I have one of the drivers take you home, perhaps? I... Oh, Louise, <laughs> Sheridan. Oh. <laughs> oh. Julian told me about your engagement. Congratulations. Thank you, <laughs> Ivy. Yeah, thanks. What happened here? Oh, let's just say I barged in. <laughs> Leave it at that. Uh, congratulations on your engagement, you two. You make a lovely couple. Thank you. I'd wish you all the happiness in the world. <laughs> but I've seen your futures, dears. And this summer will bring you all the pain in the world. Both of you. We came to talk to Julian. Is he around? <clears throat> oh, I... He and Rebecca just stepped out. I'm sure they'll be back. I hope they don't catch Timmy living it up. You know, I think the stress that Alistair has you under is finally starting to take its toll here. I mean, dolls don't just suddenly come to life and roam around houses. Toy Tot must be around here somewhere. Um, uh, 
Julian, you know I have those little blue pills. Why don't I get you one of those? You'll feel better right away. I won't rest until I find that runaway rag doll. As soon as you turn 18, we can get married with your aunt and uncle's blessing. It's really exciting. I can't wait. If they're planning on getting married as soon as she turns 18, I don't have much time. Why can't you just let Charity and Miguel be happy? Simone, you're supposed to be my best friend. What about my happiness? I want you to be happy, Kay. It just seems like every time you scheme to get Miguel, something bad happens. Like selling your soul and ending up in hell. By the way, shouldn't you be concentrating on getting your soul back? I can't worry about that right now. I have to find a way to get Miguel in bed, and fast. So Sam met with Ivy, and they looked through pictures of Ethan growing up? Oh, Grace. Now I have to agree with Pilar. This pushing Sam to resolve his feelings with Ivy is just asking for trouble. I can't help it. Look, I have to know that Sam loves me and only me. Now, the only way for him to do that is to resolve his feelings with Ivy. Now, if he spends some time with her and then he still comes back to me, well, then I will believe that he truly loves me. There is another possibility, Grace. What if Ivy pulls some trick on Sam to get him to leave you? Are you prepared to lose Sam for good? You're wrong, TC. I'm not pining after all the time I missed with Ivy. Look, I love Grace. I wouldn't change the time I've spent with her for anything. Well, I just hope you're being honest with yourself. Look, I am, TC. There's nothing for you or Grace to worry about. Good. What do you think about this party? Are Julian and Alistair planning to hurt Luis and Sheridan? It's definitely what I thought when I first heard about it, but now I... I don't know. I mean, maybe Alistair and Julian are reaching out to Sheridan. Oh, I wish I could believe that. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I am not 100% sure myself. But we have to remember that Louise and Sheridan are both intelligent people. They'll know that this party could be a threat to their future happiness, and they will both come prepared. I really don't think we have anything to worry about. Oh. Don't. Try not to fret, please, Pilar. And after all, I'll be at the party, too, to help you keep an eye on things. After all, this party means something to me. What are you talking about? The party is a perfect opportunity for me to spend some time with Sam, you know? Get a little closer. Oh. But nothing is out of the ordinary here, Julian. What are you uh, hiding about? This. That? This is the drink the doll makes. He calls it a uh, martini. They're actually quite tasty. Uh, 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 Julian, you're... You're trying to tell me that the doll snuck in here and made itself... A drink. Well, there's the proof. Well, then why isn't the doll drinking it? Well, he obviously left. Yeah. Now you need to lie down. Let me get you those pills. Uh, no, don't, don't bother. I'll drink this instead. Oh. God. What are we here? It's a button, Julian. Yes, but not just any button, Bex. This is from the doll's glove. I must find that doll. But... I guess I could have him committed. After we're married. First, there are more important matters to take care of.
What is it, Rebecca? Alistair. Uh, how, how did you know it was me? I have my ways. Now, what is it you want? Uh, well, I, um, I, I wanted to talk to you about Louise and Sheridan's engagement party. You see, I have a few ideas. I, I wanted to run by you, if that's all right. I'm listening. Well, if Julian doesn't show up soon, then we'll just go look for him. wondrous elixir in my hand. So, did you see anything on your wanderings that might be the key to keeping Charity and Miguel apart? Hmm? No, but the Tabby can tell to me found all the ingredients to make an excellent batch of marching. Indeed. <laughs> oh, Julian! Julian's drinking the Martini Timmy made for himself. Shh. Go into Dolman right now. It's going to be hard enough to stay in this house long enough to find the key into Nick's charity and Miguel without you causing any ruckus. Are you and Father really throwing us a party to celebrate our engagement? Oh. Uh, yes, yes, of course. Where did you get that drink? I made it myself. I hope you don't mind. So who exactly is invited? Yeah, is it just our families or what? Uh, you're welcome to invite uh, whomever you like. Ask the whole town for all I care. This is our chance, Tim Tim. I take it in. Uh, the whole town is welcome, you say? Well, thank you, Mr. Crane. Timmy and I would love to come to Louise and Sheridan's engagement party. <laughs> Reminds me of us when we first started going out. Remember how we used to hold hands and talk all the time? We couldn't wait to get married. Just like Charity and Miguel. We even looked at each other exactly the same way. Yeah, well, that was then. We can get it back again. We can get those feelings back again, Grace. Just please tell me we'll try. you so much. Tell me we can get those feelings back again. I still can't believe you're gonna try to get pregnant by Miguel. It's the only way to get what I want, Simone. And I want Miguel. I just have to do it fast before she turns 18 and they have a chance to get married. This is wrong, Kay. It's so, so wrong. I know I can seduce him. And once he finds out I'm pregnant, there's no way he'll leave me for charity. Using Luis and Sheridan's engagement party to get closer to Sam is a horrible idea. No, it isn't, Pilar. Sam will be there because of Luis. I'll be there because of Sheridan, as well as Ethan. It'll be like we're a real family. The family we should have been if first my father and then Julian and Alistair hadn't manipulated us and ripped me away from Sam. Aren't you doing the same thing to Sam and Grace that the Cranes did to you? Manipulating them, destroying their love. How can you cause them so much pain, Ivy? How can you? I'm impressed with you, Rebecca. I only hope you can deliver what you promised. Oh, I will. Before Luis and Sheridan's engagement party is over, they will be torn apart forever. If they are, I'll welcome you into the family with open arms. Ah, <laughs> that is exactly what I wanted to hear. 
See, Luis and Sheridan are finished. Their relationship is as good as dead. You're coming to the party? Yes. Thank you so much for inviting us. I know we'll have a lovely time. Us? You're serious about bringing your Timmy doll? Oh, absolutely. I never go anywhere without my Timmy. Mm, I know it will be a lovely party, because you're such a lovely pair. <laughs> Thank you, Tabitha. Did <laughs> you excuse us? <laughs> <clears throat> I don't think that Julian and Rebecca expected uh, Betty old Tabitha to come to our engagement party. Well, it'll add character. I mean, not every engagement party has a dotty woman walking around with her doll. Yeah, but I'm not sure that's a bad thing. <laughs> I feel so silly for being worried before you proposed. Everything is turning out perfectly, just like in my dream. I mean, not only are we engaged, but my family is finally accepting you, which is why they're throwing the party. I mean, now I'm sure that nothing will go wrong. <laughs> the party will give us the perfect opportunity to find out what this house has to help us keep Charity and Miguel from getting married. Even if we have to rip the whole place apart, room by room. Otherwise, it's doomsday for both of us. Yes, evil will be at this party tonight, Timmy. Mark my words. Major evil. <laughs>